Right now, East Point police say they are searching for the person who shot and killed a nine year old boy while he was out playing with neighborhood friends. And while East Point police haven't publicly named a suspect, Late this afternoon, police announced they have identified everyone involved in the shooting. Tracy A. McPierce spoke with the victim's mother. She's joining us now live from the East Point Police Department. Tracy, what do you know? Well, police just told us in the last two hours that they now believe that King Black was shot inside a home rather than out on the street. They say there's no suspect in custody, while Black's family tells me they want justice now. He's walking out the door. He's like, I love you, Mom. And I was like, I love you too, babe. It seemed like five minutes later, someone was knocking on the door and said, your son's been shot. Joy Black says this memorial on East Washington Street in East Point marks the spot where her nine-year-old son, King Black, was killed on Saturday night. He was like in the sports. He just liked to be outside, be a normal kid and just play with his friends. His mom says he was a rising fourth grader at Hamilton E. Holmes Elementary School who loved music and dreamed of one day having his own children. When I get older and I'm going to be a dad, I don't know why he used to always say that, but he always said he wanted to be a father. Joy says they'd spent the day at the pool together, and when they returned home around 6.30, King ran outside to play with friends. Uh, all, I heard, all I can remember from that day is just the banging on my door. It's like, King's been shot. <laughs> I just ran over there. She says she found her son with his friends just one street behind her house. And he was collapsed, laying down <laughs> on his stomach, was just bleeding really bad. And I just lay next to him and I just told him to be strong and I love him. King died at the hospital. East Point Police telling 11 Alive that after interviewing witnesses, the investigation is still active, but they now believe he was shot inside a home before collapsing outside. Joy says King fought for his life and she will spend her life fighting for him. I want justice for him. I want justice for my son. No baby deserves to die like that. Now, Black says she's originally from Michigan and she'd like for King to be buried there. So the family is flying with King's body back to Michigan on Friday. The family has set up an online fundraiser. And if you'd like to contribute, you can find it on our website, it's All right, Tracy, an awful story there. Thank you so much for that information.